Good evening. Once again, it's time for another episode of Vestin's Storybook Theater. And here is your host, Vestin Bruno. Oh, good evening. And welcome to Vestin's Storybook Theater. I'm Vestin Bruno. Tonight, I'm proud to present If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, a tale about a mouse who wants to have a chocolate chip cookie. And it's a stork adventure with a young boy. Here now, if you give a mouse a cookie. Now, if you give a mouse a cookie, it was written by Laura Numeroff, and the pictures were drawn by Felicia Bond. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the glass of milk, He'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. Even when he looks in the mirror, into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of scissors. Wait, wait, hold it, stop! Not literally. Oh, stop it! I'm very sorry. That was not, uh, if you give him a cookie, that was, uh, let me see, it was, uh, oh, here it is. Uh, if you give a mouse a, a haircut, the story of a mouse who is in desperate need of a haircut. Hmm? What's that? Oh, that line was part of the book? Oh, sorry about that. Okay, moving on. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want the broom to sweep up, to sweep up. He'll start sweeping, he might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story, which I am right now. So you'll read him from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. Whoa! No good! I'm very sorry. That's not if you give a mouse a cookie. That was, uh, let me think, let me see. Um, that, uh, aha! That was uh, if you want your mouse to, to draw a picture. The story of a mouse who desperately misses his, misses his family. Very touching story. Uh, wait, 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 I apologize, okay? Uh, let, let, mm, mm, what? What's that? That line was also part of the book, too? Oh, how silly of me. Uh, wait, uh, sorry, I apologize, okay? Uh, let's try reading again, or else, I'll get another or else I'll get a new job. He'll draw a picture. When the picture is finished, He'll want to sign his name with a pen. Then he'll want to hang the, his picture on the refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty. So he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. There you have it. If you give a mouse a cookie, finally, very beautiful, very moving, very silly. Join me next week for a tale about St. Patrick's Day. A story about St. Patrick's Day. Very important tale. This is Vesta Bruno. Good evening.